Hi, I'm Crystal. Today I've got a little mini book that I made to include in a junk journal in one of the pockets. And um, it's just got a few pages. There's nothing really um, super elaborate about it. But I wanted to participate in a couple of open collaborations. Enjoy Read With Us, hosted by Annie Creates Hugs and Her Sissy by Mimi With Love, and Wednesday and Bellies, hosted by Fashionably 50-something. But all great channels. So I used a, uh, a die meant for an A2 card that cuts out a frame. Um, it's got a separate piece that cuts out the center. I didn't use that. On the cover, I did a little bit of uh, wax resist. And I do have a process note about that, a tip I wanted to share. Then the pages, I've got the, uh, the die cut pages. And this die actually had some 1 16th inch holes at the edge. So I just made three loops of waxed thread to hold the pages together to make this mini book. Um, the die has some wonderful detail on it, and the backs I've left open for journaling, although I've got a little bit of decoration with washi tape on a couple of them. Um, but I think it makes a, a nice little mini book, good for some photos or some journaling or uh, whatever you might want to include in a hidden journaling spot within a junk journal. Very quick project. I've got some love words written on the cover, front and back. And you can see that uh, that wax resist with the wax and the watercolor. So when I do wax resist, and I do a lot of it, I uh, generally use regular crayons. I love crayons. I've loved them since I was a kid. I mean, who doesn't like a box of crayons? Um, but a lot of times when you work with crayons, it looks like a kid's drawing because you can see the scribble marks. You can see the strokes that you're making with the crayon. So there's a really easy tip for this. Um, to make these look a little bit different, and that is heat it with your heat tool for just a couple of seconds. That will melt the wax and make it much smoother. You don't want to you know, melt it so much that it bleeds out into the paper. For this sample, I'm just using regular copy paper, so the wax would bleed very easily. So once I've heated up the wax, I'm just going over it with another layer of crayon, and I'm going to heat that for just a second with my heat tool really doesn't take, I, I'm not letting the heat tool warm up, I'm just giving it a couple seconds of heat. And then I'm going to do a third layer of wax. And when we get done, you absolutely cannot see any strokes inside this heart. It does not look like a kid's drawing, and it gives you a really good wax resist to the watercolor. So I'm just going to heat up that last la layer of wax, and then we'll move on to the resist portion. And um, this sample, I'm, I'm using some really wildly different colors. So I've got a yellow heart, and I'm going to apply some blue watercolor. You don't have to wait for the wax to dry or anything. It cools off almost instantly. Now I'm going to get my blue watercolor and just put that right across the heart. You can dab off the watercolor while it's wet. That's fine. Or you can moisten your, um, your little inky... Uh, dish towel or your paper towel or whatever it is that you're using in your craft space to uh, take off the ink a little bit more completely. So the watercolor won't stick and since the wax is melted you don't end up with any inclusions inside the heart. I do have a little bit on the edge but I think that gives it a charmingly handmade look. So if you, if you ever wanted to try wax resist, I really recommend just a few seconds with the heat tool. Gives you a great result, makes this process super easy, and uh, just gives you a really good look. So I hope that tip is helpful to somebody, and I thank you for joining me today.